Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Welcome to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host. Folks, we're going to have quite a show today. I'm, I'm just so excited about this particular show. With all the issues that we're faced with right now, and <laughs> I need not cite them, we all know them, the National Football League, uh, the, the protesting, uh, this, this, that, and the other here in America. Yep. we got over 100 and some odd cultures here. <laughs> Everybody wants to come to America for the freedom that it's supposed to impress, et cetera, and all and yet and still we've got all of this this divide now at this point in time mm -hmm. and it was just I, I you know i've been here for quite some time i've been in fact the latest three or four four shows that i've been doing has been on the issue of race and and hate mm -hmm. racism and hate and uh, just trying to figure out where's that needle in the haystack <laughs> to see if we can get it back where we can kind of hey we're living the dream statue of living it's all and all men are free and equal all of us are but uh, it, it's tough. It's a struggle. But guess what? I, as you know, I've got I've got my cover on. I've got my Vietnam vet cover on, and uh, reaching out to vets is something that I've, I'm, I've really had a compassion with, and I'm still doing it. It just so happened I met someone on the trail. I met a, I met a person on the trail. Uh, his name is Ovi, Ovi Mutin, mm -hmm. and um, Montan, and. Um, uh, he was reaching out to vets also to providing uh, with his organization uh, uh, dogs, if you will, as part of the PTSD, you know, just going, uh, that, that whole piece about the, the dogs and whatever, you've seen them around with, with their vests on and this, that, and the other. And uh, in fact, we even had him on the show. We talked a little bit about that piece, mm -hmm. and we talked beyond that point. And so next thing I knew, I, you know, we're not just like anything else. We're talking about family, this, that, and the other. And he said, Bruce, I'm from, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, my, 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 I'm from Romania. Mm, and yes. this is what I said, Romania, where is that? I had to run down and Google Romania. <laughs> Where's yeah. Romania? And what is Romania? And I saw all these issues about Romania and, and, I, and the Euro and this, that, and the other, right. and all these other, and all these other cultures that are there and, and all the different, this, that, and the other. And I understood better what the Euro, European nation was all about and how they were trying to put all this stuff together. What a divide. Wow. Yeah. And then I and then all of a sudden I come back and I and I, I approached my friend here Ovi and I said, Hey man, can you tell me a little bit about that? He said, Bruce, I got just the right thing for you. He raised up this book. This book here. Here it is right here. It says John Mutin Mutin. Willing to die, a true story. I I took it, he said, Bruce, here it is, and he gave me a copy and I sat down and I read this. I couldn't I couldn't lay it down. I mean I don't respect that. It, it took me only two days. I mean, I did it. <laughs> I did every page. It's a awesome. good, easy, easy read, you know. And when I read it, I, I, I thought about the history that I had taken when I was going to school. Mm. It was in the classroom talking mm -hmm. about what America was about and this, that, and the other. And, and yeah, the racism and all that other stuff, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's in there too and whatever. And then I learned about how they, they cut off that in, at education in the school system because right. you know you can't go forward if you can if you don't know your history. You get me? Right. And uh, and that and a lot of that stuff came up in terms of trying to justify some of my concern about racism and some of the things that happened. But okay. the fact of the matter is is that they cut it off. Yes. That history is not there. Mm -hmm. And and that, and this book basically went, took me through that same process and said that. Uh, you're, you, this was his father, by the way, um, and this interview is he, always right here, and I don't want to be taking the interview, but, but I, <laughs> it's okay. I, I want to give that introduction. But what I was getting out of it was that uh, after I read the book about his dad and this true story aspect of it, I can see a person who, 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 who's a very articulate, if you will, in talking about that history of freedom. Yes. and how he had freedom at one point in time. And then the socialism and communism came into his country, if you will, and the next thing you know, he saw it. He, he saw the oppression, yes. and, this, and in fact, the N-word was even part of the process. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were identified as, excuse me, I'll just be straight up as niggers, and everybody understand what I'm saying, so we'll know, but that same kind of negative, mm -hmm. restless, yes. uh, this, that, and the other, and whatever, was there. He, 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 he was there as a result of this this whole issue of communism and, mm -hmm. and socialism jumping into into his environment, and it just went on and on. And then all of a sudden, 
uh, in this book, and I'm, I'm going to give it to you, Ovi. And then, then in this book, he saw it, and he had to get his family out. Mm -hmm. His family, not himself, his family, and yes. his, his family across the board, and relatives, as oh, much as he possibly yes. could. And then he came to the United States of America. He came to America. To the land of kids, the free. To the land of the free. And he had his kids, what is it, five? five four. Six, four. Yes. Four. He had, he had four, 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 four boards. Four. Four, four, um, three? four boys and one daughter, but uh, one son died when yeah, he was right, three right, years old in right. Romania, and he was buried Before, there. Yeah. Right. But the whole idea is that uh, he brought his family here. And so, it, it, like I said, over here I met him, and all of a sudden, you know, here I saw this entrepreneur. I, I saw this, this godly man. I mean, this guy was right, right there. I mean, he was so passionate about about God and this country. and. And I'm trying to say, wait a minute, I mean, that's not supposed to be, <laughs> see? I mean, and, but yet he, there he was, and he was reaching out. And so the next thing you know, we're talking. And the next thing you know, he tell, like I said, he tells me about the book. And so what we're going to do today, folks, getting right back down, I'm, I, uh, this deal is that uh, the first 30 minutes, we're going to spend the time talking about his father's book. Mm -hmm. And he's going to give you some excerpts. I mean, you, know, you got to go out and get the book now. You gotta, I mean, he's not going to basically tell you the whole story about the book. But, but it's, it's something that you, you, you need to read. You need to read. And when you look at it, look at, the, look, look at it from the standpoint of your history. Yes. From, from day one for your history and your family and this, that, and the other. And then the second half hour, we're going to talk to his transition. His dad came, was in Romania. He lived there. And then he, he went through all those issues about socialism and communism. Then he left and came to America. Mm -hmm. And he brought his sons and his, family, his whole family with mm -hmm. him. And then he made sure that he instilled with them that history. And then all, of a, then all of a sudden they're there. And he can just go up to a certain point because they're open to everything. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I'll tell you right up front with you. One thing, that, one thing that really got me was that one of the points that he made was that he said, when you got here, before you got here, he had some of his relatives and friends who came from this country to Romania mm -hmm. to start teaching you guys English. Yes. And then when he and then we got here, he said, "Make sure you you learn English. I don't no Romanian. I don't want you speaking Romanian. <laughs> Even language, in the house, yep. the language in the house is that you got to stay with this piece. Yes. And I thought that was a very interesting piece. Well, with that, that's enough of the introduction. Always well, we, welcome to More Than Gold's Digest. Thank really you, Bruce. This very much, much. Thank you. It's an honor to be on the show with you. Thank oh. you for having me. Oh, it's an honor to know you, my friend. This is just great. This, we, got, we got other things to do. Okay. Yes. So why don't you just why don't we just start with um, uh, with, with 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 your dad and your, your parents and whatever in Romania. What, what whatever you can think in terms of. I know you the book, but whatever you can think about of t educating them about your time in Romania mm -hmm. with your family. Well, I do want to give you a little bit of a history of the book. Yes. Uh, my father wanted to leave behind uh, sort of a bullet point history of how we ended up in the United States mm -hmm. for his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Um, when he shared that with his clients, each one would tell him, no, John, you have to write a book, you have to write a book. And then when he shared that with me, I'm like, Dad, you really have to write a book. Mm -hmm. And that's how... Um, the book came about. I knew a lady that um, uh, was a writer, and um, he was the mother of uh, a close friend of mine. And so I uh, introduced them to each other, and uh, they worked a deal together. And that lady moved to California, lived with my parents for five months, wow. uh, did over um, 500 interviews uh, during the day. She would type. She would write, and um, and um, at night she would interview my dad and my mom and review the previous day interviews and so forth. Uh, uh, it took a total of four years to four write years. the book. Yes, four years. Yes, because my father wanted to make sure that nothing written in this book is yes. uh, false right. or mm -hmm. embellished in any way. And he trusted her because of you, right? Uh, yes, yes, he trusted yes, yes. her. Uh, and, this is, and this is the same lady that you're working with now for the dog thing, right? It's actually her mother. A mother? Yes, See, her mother. Yes. But my point is that, that relationship. Yes, okay. yes. And uh, that's uh, the founder and president of Notos Batter Buddies. It's mm -hmm. a nonprofit organization that provides uh, professionally trained service dogs to veterans so with I'm, PTSD at yes. no cost to them met. whatsoever. That's where we met. That's, that's how we met, met. yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so uh, that's how the book came about. Mm -hmm. Now, what I 
can tell you about Romania was that Romania was a capitalist country in, in Europe and uh, it was doing so well it was known as you just mentioned earlier before the show the breadbasket of Europe um, people had the freedom to um, earn as much as they could to work as hard as they could and keep um, 80% to 85% of the profits mm -hmm. uh, that really uh, what's the word I'm looking for what motivated the people to actually work harder and and uh, provide and produce and so that made Romania very rich in Europe uh, so some of, of the course, best wine in the world yes the, the wines the, the grain the main uh, corn yes, yes absolutely and so of course um, the enemies of freedom always look for a place that's doing really well and a place that's blessed mm -hmm. um, you know the Romanian people were and still are very religious and very godly people and um, you know it's not by coincidence that God blesses people that um, recognize where the blessing comes from and uh, so the enemies of freedom always move yeah, into yeah. a country that's doing very well. Mm -hmm. So it's no surprise that here in the United States we have socialists and communists now as a recognized party running to control and to lead this nation. Mm -hmm. You see, this is still one nation under God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the enemies of God, the enemies of freedom mm -hmm. are moving in. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, this book is also a warning for the United States not to play around and not to embrace the socialist and the communist principles. And so, um, so, uh, well, listen, I mean, my I, father watched. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask you to give the to give the viewing arts an opportunity to kind of get a sense where it's at on the globe, so to right. speak. I noticed that uh, you, you, you had uh, Romania uh -huh. and then you had the Ukraine. And that was closer to Russia, right? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, but the Ukrainians are still fighting, if you will. Yes, uh, there's a lot of fighting. Country. But there's mm -hmm. a lot of Russians that are there. I think mm -hmm. it's about two thousand, two thousand troopers. So there, they're just sitting there now. Yes, giving them that whole and piece. Can, yes. And then at the same time, they don't they don't have as many Russians in in uh, in Romania. No. But a lot of them have been converts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, forced to be converts. Right. right? Yes. And, and, and that's uh, so Romania is um, uh, the countries around Romania like. Uh, yeah. To the east um, okay. of Romania is Ukraine. Right. To the north of Romania is Russia. The right. whole northern border. Uh, to the southwest is Yugoslavia, and to the south is Hungary. Yes. And so Danube River is the border between uh, Yugoslavia and Romania, mm -hmm. and then you have to the east you have the Black Sea. Yes. So. If anybody wants to find Romania, yeah. you'll find it west yeah, of the is. Black Sea. Yeah, you can Google. I had, a, I had yeah. an excellent opportunity to get a little background by just Googling Romania. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. On YouTube. Right. And you and Romania will come on mm -hmm. and different excerpts of yes. Romania. Very interesting stuff. Yeah. Now, Romania was, um, when I grew up in Romania, when I was in Romania, I was a third Hungarians, a third Germans, mm -hmm. and a third, or a little more than a third, uh, Romanians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it, Romania is made out of three provinces, so to speak. Uh, one is uh, Moldavia. I'm sure you heard about yeah, Moldavia. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Uh, one is the land of Romania and one is Transylvania yes uh, so uh, those three are divided by by uh, the Carpathian mountains mm -hmm. so Romania is in, uh, Transylvania is in the middle of of mm -hmm. the Carpathian mm -hmm. mountains mm -hmm. yeah so um, you know that's what all the movies with Dracula yeah, being Dracula, filmed and Dracula. So oh, that was, that was, hey this guy was he was famous <laughs> <laughs> I grew up there I played in the castles Did of Dracula you? and so wow, forth I have wow. pictures there wow. uh, I never saw Dracula I never saw any vampires yeah, yeah, those yeah. are made in Hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying there's a big restaurant now is, is yes it, there is one called Dracula yeah. Yeah, awesome, the, awesome Dracula's awesome. castle and right, yes. right right now you're dead let's go back yes let's go back to my father yeah you get back to dead well so as as the communist or the social came to Romania and they started promising the people that there will be no poor amongst them, that everybody will ha be equal, everybody will have the same, and there will be no rich people, they'll take from the rich and give to the poor and so forth. Uh, the younger generation bought into that lie. Mm. And so, um, as you probably read in the book, and I don't want to tell you yeah, yeah, right, everything right, in the right, book, right, but right, right. Um, the socialists promised 
uh, anybody who would vote for them, they would be given two brand new Italian suits. Oh. Now, to give you an idea that um, somebody would have to work a whole year without spending any money to be able to buy a suit in mm. Romania. So, uh, them promising something like that was was a lot of yeah. um, incentive for the people to vote socialism. Um, so, my father watched how the socialists came into power. Once they came into power, they didn't keep their promises, they didn't give nobody suits. They, uh, all of a sudden, uh, everybody had to turn over their, their properties, that land, because they, uh, whoever they refused, taxation, property taxes went up so high to where you couldn't afford to pay taxes, so you had to give up the property. Firearms, I mean. Yes, now anybody to complain, when they took over the country, the leadership of the country, they were taken out in the woods and shot. Mm. Nobody would wow. care from them again. All their jewelry stolen and left for the animals to devour. Mm. So um, my father watched all this and then of course he realized um, that this is not going well mm -hmm. for the nation mm -hmm. that um, had the free trade system, had, it was capitalist, it was well known uh, in Europe um, for, for, its, uh, for providing for Europe, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that went on for many, many years. As you know, uh, Nicolae Ceausescu took mm -hmm. over. Yes. Um, he was a very uh, harsh um, dictator. And um, the country, he started starving the country. I mean, the people uh, got to the point where, <clears throat> I mean, I remember waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was 8 and 9 years old and walking to the um, bakery and waiting until 8 o'clock in the morning uh, in line with adults uh, just to get a loaf of bread. It was the same for oil, for sugar, for butter, and so you had controlled rations when it came to uh, foods mm -hmm. and um, so people put up with it for for a long time but um, my father decided to leave the country he informed the okay. government uh, that he wants to leave the country they laughed at him um, if you buy the book you'll read oh, yeah. what he had to do yes. and the yes. risks he had to take yes. and the dangers yes. Uh, yes. he had to go through uh, to bring his whole family um, to freedom Mm -hmm. And that's why the book is called Willing to Die, because he, he decided that he's willing to die rather than live mm -hmm. in uh, communism. Mm -hmm. um, and ministry played a major role in it, the way I saw it in the book, right? Yes, uh, ministry him. was also, yes, uh, was also very important in his life ever since I know him. Mm -hmm. He was a man of God, mm -hmm. a man of his word. Um, so, as well as my grandfather, mm -hmm. um, mm. you know, he was a pastor of six churches yes. uh, in a time where being a pastor was a danger to mm -hmm. you and your family. Mm -hmm. um, pastors wouldn't get him paid. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandpa earned his own living for him and his family, and at the same time pastoring six churches. So that was, uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's very impressive and to be admired. Mm -hmm. So I, I learned from him. Now, I'm not a pastor, but <laughs> I, yeah. when we came to the to the United States, my father actually refused to stay on welfare. Mm -hmm. And as you read in the book, um, me and him went to work for two dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah. But we, we had enough. So we're not going to be a burden to this nation that we but came I want, to. I want you to get too much in the book on that. On that, 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 that. I want to go back to dad again. All right, let's go back to dad. The second half hour, we'll talk about your piece. All right. There. But, but but again, talking. How many? Okay. How many siblings? How many? Brothers and sisters. Oh, I have um, alive. I have two brothers and one sister. Two brothers and one all sister. of us are still alive, living in the United States. Okay, yeah. Okay. I thought it was interesting too, in regards to uh, the family situation and how, when the uh, when socialism and communists came to the country, uh, all of a sudden there was a kind of uh, people were leaving quite a bit, and then all of a sudden they were forcing folks to have have kids. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was very very interesting. Uh, and and what they did. In fact, if you if they didn't bear children, mm -hmm. they would either if they were if they came in sick or ill or this that and the other, they do away with them. They yeah. Just, you know, they, yeah. They wanted people just to get out there in those collective farms and and pick. I, mean, I thought that was interesting. I, 
you know, sound sound like the, you know, due respect to the 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 old the old uh, America after the Civil War. You got my point? Yes, I get uh, your the, point. Uh, the, with reference mm -hmm. to um, the slaves. Yeah. You were just basically there, the mm -hmm. collective, mm -hmm. same collective concept. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking of that along that line. And then we had that Civil War to kind of yeah. eradicate that piece. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You got me? You know, to that point, I do want to say that it's, uh, it's a very sad uh, thing that happened in, in our educational system mm -hmm. that they've taken out the history of the United States. You know, mm -hmm. whether whether we want to talk about racism, yeah. which is very sad, right. it should not be taken out of schools. Mm -hmm. Whether we want to talk about the South and the North mm -hmm. and, and Democrats and mm -hmm. Republicans, conservatives and and liberals, uh, I don't. I think that history is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you know who you are if you don't know where you come from? Yeah. Yeah. And. And if you read my father's book at the end, it's got the 45 goals of the communists mm -hmm. for the United States of yes. America. And, and one of the goals is to take prayer out of schools. The whole take, education, all the books, the, all the, the history. To change the, yeah. the educational system, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 And we should, uh, you, you know, we should put back in schools the history book. Mm -hmm what the United States was founded on, what our founding fathers based their ideals on, how they came together, what they sacrificed to um, to build this nation. And what that civil war was all about. Yes, absolutely. Well, seriously what the civil war was yes. about. And then what happened after that. Yes. And why didn't we continue on to mm -hmm. really just clean it all up. And yes. Then, and here we are today in that same divide. It's, it's almost yes. like saying we're looking at a, mm -hmm. another civil war, so to speak. Yes, yeah. but you know, the enemy of freedom knows that a nation divided will not stand. Mm -hmm. And that's what the enemy of freedom has been doing for decades. Mm -hmm. And we are here right now, a nation pretty much divided. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and not yet. We, no, we, not we, yet. That's why we're here, right? Yes, that's we, why we're we, here we, to talk we, about We're trying to find that needle in the yes. haystack, and it's just sitting there. Yes. And then, so we've got to get those preventers out of the way. And get things back yes. into motion, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, yes. And the education is a very serious situation. It is. And I and I saw that in your uh, in your father's book here. Uh, he 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 saw that, and then I and I I saw where uh, uh, he was uh, he was saying right before before he left it left left Romania, uh, and he he pretty well had his plan, and he was going to come to America. And English was the standard language. English as a first language. Yes. All the, he recognized all the other variations of, of cultures, if you will. Mm -hmm. But English was the dominant language there, and there was a reason for doing that. Yes. And he said, well, I'm going to get, because uh, he was in the ministry, and dad, yes. whatever. And so grandpa and dad kind of hooked mm -hmm. up. And, and so when the ministry would come over to Romania to look, uh, he would make, make sure that he taught um, taught yes. you all English. And you yes. Being ta you being taught English yes. at that point in time. And you know, it's, uh, it's not in the book, but um, to um, teach English was yeah. punishable by five years in prison. Yeah. Hard labor wow. in Romania back then. You were not allowed to learn right. English. You, you had to learn Russian. Mm -hmm. You had to learn German, but not English. Not English. Not English. And so uh, when we came to the United States, we had to start school. So I was going to high school. I didn't know English. Only a few words, hello and how are you. Mm -hmm. But um, ever since we came to the United States, so not even a week later, we started going to English as a second language mm -hmm. uh, classes at night from 6 to, to 10 o'clock every night of the week. And then we started. I started high school, and we still went 6 to 10 for about a year and a half until I understood everything in English and I could speak it. Fluently. Broken English, yes, but I right. could speak English. Right, right. But as a couple, a few years went by, then uh, as you can tell now, and sometimes I do have an accent, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I learned English. Yes. It was not an option. My father mm -hmm. even did not allow us to speak Romanian in our home. In that subject. In that subject. <laughs> he yeah. wanted to make sure that we're going to speak the yeah, language exactly. of the land that we came to. Yeah. And you know, another interesting point about your point, mm -hmm. you made the point, in fact, you said you were going to these classes. But they threw out on the table that it was again trying to not not establish that standard by making the point about is English as a uh, English as a second language. Right. See, that's what the English classes as, were called. Right. Right. Yes. But it should have been English as a first language. I totally agree with idea. you. Oh, I can agree then, with you so, more. So the point is mm -hmm. that started there. It'd be interesting mm -hmm. to see who put that in their curriculum. 
i.e. the education system. Right. You got me? Mm -hmm. Somebody basically said, no, yeah. we're going to name it this way. Right. And then, that, and then as a result, people are going to naturally stick to that culture. Right. I, I, I want, agree. I want to. I want to do this. I want to. Mm -hmm. I'm from. I'm from so and so. Mm -hmm. I'm from this. I'm, I'm, that's what. I'm. That's my culture. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's that divide and conquer thing. Yes. That's and the, you know, it's good to speak other languages. Yeah. Yeah. But if you want to come to the land of the free, to this one nation under God, the the home of the brave, you know, uh, it, it will adopt you. Will receive you. Will, You'll live in blessing and in freedom. With 110 odd so you, cultures. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't you want to speak the language yeah. of the land? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was a pride for us. Even in Romania, where we risked imprisonment, we wanted to speak English. Mm -hmm. It was a, We were proud to be able mm -hmm. to say a simple word, hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We saw it in movies, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and and then you have people that come here from, from oppression and from... Mm -hmm. uh, unbelievable uh, controlling governments mm -hmm. and they come here and then I want to encourage them to learn English yeah yeah to learn yeah. English yeah. yeah yeah well you know when you start thinking about this divide just like you were talking about the, the, the communist manifesto and I, mm -hmm. I saw those different points and whatever right. and you and you really think about the whole issue about it, it bothered me to begin with but I didn't understand it about English as a second language. Hmm. I said, wait a minute, why should it be English exactly. as a second language? I agree. You know, so, okay, fine. I'm supposed to be an African-American. And so now, all of a sudden, I'm supposed, what, what, what about my language? Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. What about Swahili or something? Right. Why, why can't they do mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. and, as opposed to over here, mm -hmm. someone gets a selection, or this, that, and the other. And so you get that confusion situation now. And in mm -hmm. fact, that's a good point, too, now, because... You know, after the uh, apartheid thing up in Africa mm -hmm. with Mandela and whatever, right. you know, uh, that became an, another nation. That's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, now, African, when you think about African, he's a African American. Mm -hmm. They're both white and black. Right. See, and those are continents. You right. know, it's, uh, they're not right. nationality or a nation. Right. You know, America has but, but two when you continents. Say, but when you say African American, the first right. thing people think about, they're black. Right. See? Yes. And so, they're, they're right. You see what I'm saying? So they, they, they got white ones too here, big yes. time. Yes. Yes. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not, I'm not quote, just the only African. In, right. in, the, in this country, from a historical standpoint, mm -hmm. but you got white Africans, right? So, Absolutely. So that's confused. So you got white Africans and you got black, um, black, uh, Afri uh, Afri uh, uh, black African Americans, right? Right. Okay, right. and then white African Americans. Right. You see how confusing it can get sometimes. Right. So as opposed to hopefully we at some point in time we're just all Americans. Yes. And if I may uh, mention here, you know. Um, I had no idea about racism until yeah, about two right. years after I came to the United States. And I don't know if you want to go there right now, or should we take well, we a get, break? We're getting closer. But I tell you what, why okay. don't we take a short break here? Okay. Are we about ready for a break, guys? I think we are. Dave, are we okay for day for that deal? Okay, good. We'll just go on and take a short break, and we'll be right back with Ovi. And boy, I tell you, this is very interesting. Be back. Here we go again, folks. Again, I, this is exciting moments. You know, we, we've kind of like gone from dip from one in the area. I started out by saying, you know, we're going to talk about uh, uh, your dad and the, in the book aspect of it. And then yeah. the second half, we're going to talk about yourself. Mm -hmm. But we can kind of mix it up a little bit, which is good. Sure. There's nothing wrong Absolutely. with that. Absolutely. Okay. Again, my, my guest is Ovi, and uh, we're talking about Romania and, uh, and, this, and the transition from 
from Romania and here to the USA and mm -hmm. you know and and proceeding that and it's just awesome that's the dad and the family this is awesome this book is willing to die a true story willing to die for freedom yes that's what I'd call it willing yes. to die for freedom this book is awesome yes you may want to just google it you can just google it, just like anything else right just yes like you're looking for a car or whatever and they'll tell you exactly where to go and get it Right. Yes. Or, or you can also call me directly. There you go. There you go. Should okay. I give them my phone number? Uh, we can't sell here. But, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But they know you're going to be on it too, right? Absolutely. Okay. And they can always do you anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are, you, you are in the, you are in business. Yes, I'm on uh, YouTube. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. So yeah, right, right, uh, look right. me up, Ovi Montin. You got, you got a website, right? Yes. Uh, there's a website for the book. It's uh, www www.willingtodiebook.com There you go. There you go. Easy deal. Yeah. Willing to die book. Okay, good. And I do want to give credit to the lady that sacrificed yes. uh, a good two years of her life wow. writing my dad's book. Wow. Uh, her name is Josephine Walker, mm -hmm. um, the mother of a really good friend of mine, and actually probably one of my best friends. Yes. Um, uh, if it wasn't for her sacrificing and going and living with my father and my mother and... Um, uh, well, Dad trusted her. Uh, yes, Dad trusted had, had her. Not, had, had it not been for you and the family and your yes. wife and all the kids and whatever, mm -hmm. uh, he would not. Because I, I noticed he had his guard. In fact, he still, to a certain degree, I felt still, he still has something to say. Yes. He's got a second. He got a second volume, I think. Uh -huh. to, to she talk. did an awesome job, didn't she? Oh, she did. A, yeah. She did an awesome job. I, I was. Uh, it was a good. It's an easy read. But but again, like I said, it, it just kind of talk to me the, about freedom of this, what this country is all about. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of things were, it was just there. It just happened to be Romanian. Mm -hmm. But when you look at all the other countries that were from that area, and mm -hmm. I think now I understand about the Euro, but you got Hungarian, you got, yes. you got uh, all of them. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, Hungary. Yeah, Hungary. I mean, and everybody's trying to come here. Yes. <laughs> you know why? Because this is the best country in the world right, to live right, in. Right. Uh, you know, and I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. This is still one nation under God, indivisible, with well, liberty and tap. justice don't. for all. Uh, okay. Yeah, my wife told me not to yeah, don't tap, tap, tap on that anymore. No, that's, stuff. Okay. that's okay. But yeah, um, this is the greatest nation in the world to live in. And you know, how, how do you share that enthusiasm with what we have today? You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, and, and not getting right into the other piece, but the, the issue right now is, is yes. the, the National Football League, but our president. Yes. Our president, President Trump. Yes. And he has his way. He is president mm -hmm. of these United States, mm -hmm. and he has his way of communicating and command and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other. Yes. Uh, he can like and dislike, but I will say that we're now talking about freedom. Yes. I mean, now we're talking about the possibility of getting that history back in the classroom. Yes. Like we used to do. You got mm -hmm. me? Yes. Now we're talking about making sure we're we're focusing on an on, on, a, on an entity that got us in the Civil War to begin with. You know, yeah. i.e. black and white thing. Right. And then, and we still haven't solved that problem. Mm -hmm. And and it's not it's not uh, a, a land of the free for everybody, and and, and all are included. Mm -hmm. Everybody's included. Mm -hmm. And and this separatism, you know, from the standpoint mm -hmm. of minorities, using the word minorities, it's ridiculous. Right. You know what I mean? And they put all of the excuse the French. And there's a there's a <laughs> there's a there's a word that I got out of from your dad. Well, what's it? What's it called? The P? How you, how you say it in Romanian? The repented one. The repented one. Yes. The repented one. Shit. That was a word they used that was equivalent to the N word um, yeah, in we're, English. Excuse the French. Just so I know, the word nigger. Right. And, and he basically laid out, and 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 that included different kind of folks. I think that right. I think the gypsies were part of that piece. Yes, it was. And and he, was that? when when the word is used, even yeah. here in the United right. States, right. It's not used to refer to the color. Right. It's used to refer to people as a second class. Right. Right. People right. as uh, lazy as. Right. Right. Uh, no good. So it's not just dark skin. No, it's not right, just right. dark skin. So it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of folks out there yeah. along that particular line. And mm -hmm. I think that's a good point to bring up to because yes. because over here it's about skin color. Right. In, in the U.S. right now, yeah. and and we need to know that that Edward just didn't just come here, no. even during the Civil War. Right. I mean, a lot of folks were slaves yes. that had white skin. Right. And a lot of folks didn't understand mm -hmm. that. Yeah. See, and so there were Chinese there were slaves Chinese, and yep, yep, Japanese Chinese. slaves. Yeah. Um, before the break, we were talking about um, 
you know, I didn't know about racism until I came to the United States uh. after about two years. Uh. Uh, in Romania, my father, my parents brought black people to our house on a regular basis for lunch, on, especially on Sundays. In Romania, were, or here? in Romania, in Romania, in Romania, yes. So uh, these were these were Africans, right? These were African black people from Africa, from right. Nigeria, and right. from other Nigeria. parts okay. of Africa. Okay. okay, they would come to study in Romania, and uh -huh. so would go to universities in Romania, and uh, they would. Uh, if my parents would meet somebody, um, whether they were Germans or Hungarians mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Americans, so they mm -hmm. were all, always very friendly, mm -hmm. always inviting them over. So we had black people at lunch at our house. Mm -hmm. We thought they were awesome people. They were mm -hmm. fun. They were mm -hmm. uh, educated. They desired. They they would. Some of them would speak Romanian very well. Mm -hmm. So we were mm -hmm. like really mm -hmm. uh, d taken uh, pleasantly surprised. When, when in your life did they? They, they, they share with you in a negative fashion about this African, because he wasn't mm -hmm. black then, he was just Africans, right? Just coming in. Right. Just well, people, right? We did refer to them as black people, but, but we don't, didn't look at them as a second class citizen. They, 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 they were, they, they, we treated them equally. I mean, my parents brought them out of our house just like they would bring another relative. When did they put relative. that negative part of it in your life? When you came here? Or when I came to the United States after here. about two years, yeah. After, after two I didn't years. understand, yeah. I yeah. didn't really understand what the problems were, and I always uh -huh. had it in my heart that, oh, surely this is just maybe just one person, yeah. or just yeah. this person has a problem mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. another black person. But uh, but after about two years, I started to understand the issues and the racism. Mm -hmm. And don't mind me saying, yeah. it, it comes from both sides. Mm -hmm. It comes from, there's some white racist people and some black racist people. Mm -hmm. Uh, and as you mentioned before, you know, when you say racism, we automatically think white black. against black. Right. Yeah, but but yeah. anybody that looks at the situation uh, has to realize that it, it's both sides. It mm -hmm. comes from both sides. And so, uh, yeah, it took about two years for me to realize uh, what racism was. <laughs> and um, and it, honestly, it was very sad, mm -hmm. um, especially that. We were immigrants. We came to this nation. We were adopted in this nation, received with open arms, um, and we felt blessed beyond belief to live in the land of the free. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, to see that people weren't getting along, human beings weren't getting yeah, along. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, but I really, really love what Martin Luther King said. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he he wanted the day to come where people weren't judged by the color of their skin. But uh, he died for it. And he, he died, he for, died it, for it. Yes. It's really sad. Right. That, and he died for it by, excuse the French, by, by the hands of a, a, a white guy, right. so to speak. Right. And here we go again. You know, the same. Yes. We, when a person gets to that point of us trying to put things together, uh -huh. that person is gone. So now yeah. we're looking for some other leadership. That's where you come in. <laughs> well, thank you <laughs> very much, Bruce. So, so both, of us, <laughs> both of us come in the same, to yeah. a certain degree. My point is that we're having a discussion. Right. And we're having a discussion. And your dad, is, dad brought up the discussion. Yes. Uh, the, the word just didn't come. <laughs> if you will, uh, from here just <laughs> yesterday, mm -hmm. it's it's all over. You got me? Yes, And in all due respect, we're, we're, we're giving him credit for, and giving the person credit for, for being able to, being able to in, making him the arrangement for you, making the arrangement for her to interview him. Yes. And he's sharing this, and I think that's a good good step towards resolving some of the issues. Yes, right? you see what I'm saying? absolutely. Because the Romanian community is still intact. That was the other thing I was going to share with we, I want to talk to you. We're okay. going to talk about this because when he came here, uh, he, he actually went to a Romanian community. Yes. That's who basically picked him up, so to speak, mm -hmm. and still in the ministry. And then, and then some of that stuff was following him from, from Romania, from Romania yes. with reference to um, uh, people who were spying and this, that, and the other, and, and all kinds of goodies, right? Doing that particular yeah. time, right? You know, the best way to read about that is to buy the book. I'm just so excited. I, I read yes. the whole book. I mean, I read, you see, you, you see I, mean, I read the book. You can tell. I told you when I gave you the book, you're not going to be able to put it down. You're right. It's it true, right? Because it fit. Yes, you know, I could, I could see, I mm -hmm. could see me, you know, in, in yeah. that book aspect of it. I, I wasn't born in Africa, but I, you can see I, I, I'm the different kind of colors yeah. and this, that, and that. There's a lot of things. My friends joke around that when, I, in the summer when I'm ten, I'm darker than yeah. than you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> so. but, but, see, but again, but like I said, we've come up with all these new words, catchy words to keep that divide. Right. Minority. In fact, right. when you say well, first thing, that, the first time when you hear the word minority, the first thing you think mm -hmm. of is black. It's yes. just a sad note. But minority is white. 
could be white, it, it could be. There's all kinds of folks in there now, see, as that divide, and they put it over here mm -hmm. for the money. Mm -hmm. you know, yes, you know I mean? right, and see, that should not be, in my opinion, no. because, no. you know, if there is minorities, um, if we want to talk about minorities, minor I mean, the Romanians are, way, they, they don't even come to be about 2% of the population, not even in the, Roma yeah. in the United yeah. States. Yeah. But I never, we never saw ourselves as minorities. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, there's other nationalities uh, that are minorities yeah. by numbers or right, percentages. Right, 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 right. However, I think that we all have the same opportunity in the yeah. United States yeah. of America, yeah. the opportunity to work hard and earn our own living, right, right, not right. live off of the system. Right. Uh, now, the welfare is good, housing is good for a time. But that's when you, Right, for I support saw, saw, when you go through hard times. Yeah, Absolutely. And I saw your dad did it again in the book. I put it that way. <laughs> yeah. he, 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 he didn't like him because he was a businessman. Right. He didn't want to hard yes. work aspect of it. But again, at that point that we talked about was that once he became, he was a French, once he became white and he could speak the English, uh -huh. he was accepted over here. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not the minority deal. Right. And from a white male standpoint. Right. That's my point. I understand. And then that. everybody else goes in this group over here. Mm -hmm. and, and we just had that. We, and we've mm -hmm. developed that culture so long. Right. It's sort of like an acceptance thing. we got to break out that culture. I, you I got agree. a lot of folks that, in all due respect, that a white male having some tough time. And this uh, slave labor to the whole nine yards. But it's that culture of the white, well, again, the male thing aspect mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. But we, I don't think we need this minority thing anymore. I agree with you. I think that should be done away with. Yeah. I don't think that you should receive more uh, government welfare, yeah. government cheese, I call it, yeah. Yeah. or housing just yeah. because you're, um, you're, you're from another country. Yeah. I think that we all have the opportunity to earn a living. There's plenty of jobs there, uh, out there. I could work day and night, 24-7, yeah. and so can you. Yeah. I don't think that... Uh, as long as it's equal, equal and yes, fair. Absolutely, and, and, and we have a lot of laws in place that guarantees that. You mm -hmm. know, you, uh, when we came to the United States in 1981, um, there was no minimum wage, so we went to work for $2 an hour, yeah. and we worked hard. Yeah. But... Um, you know, that's not the case today. Mm -hmm. um, even illegal people that come from different uh, na na nations, they can go to work for uh, uh, making very good money. Well, that's another issue. And that, that is another issue, and I stop yeah. here. No, 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 it's, it's a good point, because yeah. the fact of the matter is, uh, we, we, in, order, in order for it to get a hundred or so cultures mm -hmm. to live under the same roof, mm -hmm. you gotta have something that's sort of commonality. Right. Imagine, imagine you working for someone, and 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 I come. No, let's say I'm you work. You you're the employee, and I'm the employee, and I come to you, and I mm -hmm. and, and I speak uh, Swahili. Right, but and you then, don't speak English. Yeah, but I don't speak Romanian. Let's okay. say. Okay. Okay. Right. And then you say, well, wait a minute. I, I, gee, I can't. You, you got. I got folks here. Reading, you got to do this this way. Mm -hmm. And then I can't work. Mm -hmm. So I get upset unless I can find someone that can speak Swahili. You see what I'm saying? Right. But on the other hand, if you establish from the standpoint, let's come up with some language that we are all universal, but we still maintain our culture. Mm -hmm. You yes, see what I mean? Absolutely. Then we can operate. And we already have that. English yeah. is the language yeah. of the land. Yeah. And yeah. we should all, wherever you come from, you know, it's good to speak other languages. Yeah. yeah. But English is the land of uh, the, the language of the land, and everybody should speak English. Yeah. I don't think we, we should need... Uh, interpreters for people that have been here 5, 10, 20 years. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's a shame. Honestly, it's a shame, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but uh, if you've been here 5 or 10 years and you don't speak English and you need an interpreter, uh, go back to school. Mm -hmm. You know, learn English. Well, you, you then made a good point about the fact that he said, okay, you got to speak English. Yes. And you, you got to keep doing that because he knew that survivorship is big. Yes. To get that job, you've mm -hmm. got to speak English right. in this country. But he, didn't, but he didn't say no to your culture. No, I'm absolutely. sure he still speaks his language. Yes, and so do I. And you, yes. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. I'm in the same boat. I speak Creole. I'm still in the Creole piece, mm -hmm. but I'm a little lighter and whatever. So, <laughs> so that's another little confusion that I have Hello. and we have within our own ranks, if you will. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's been said that the lighter you are, you get a better advantage than the other that's darker. <laughs> Africa. You know, right, African, right, so right, right. And then there's this, this divide, if you will, between mm -hmm. an African from Africa and a black who were here, i.e. Yes. slave aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a little divide piece here. And we're kind of confused. And we're having problems within our own ranks, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And again, we got to get, we got to clean that up. And it's going to be, it's going to be on the back, if you will, mm -hmm. on the shoulders of our fathers. 
yes. to get together yes. and get that together. Get together with the, if it's the country of Africa or mm -hmm. whatever. We got to get together and we got to talk about that history. Yes. So we can accept one another because you can't go any further uh, with the with the rest of the cultures mm -hmm. if you can't come up to the table and say, "Look, this is who I am, mm -hmm. and I feel comfortable in who I am." Because you got to feel comfortable to have yes. that passion to do whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Because that's exactly what he was all about. Had he not had that passion for Romania and this, that, and the other, then guess what? He, he'd be lost. Yes. He'd take the, he'd take the couple of things under the deal and take the indoctrination and, and all of a sudden now he's part of that, that whole indoctrination that that's now he's, he's fighting and he's killing his own people. Yeah. And uh, as you probably know from reading the book, over two million Romanians have lost their life trying yeah. to escape from yeah. Romania and yeah. come to freedom. Yeah. And you have people that are born here in the United States of America, everything has been handed to them. They have more freedoms than they know, yeah. but they complain and protest and they don't even know what they're protesting mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. And they need to read my father's book. Oh, yeah. They need to find out how many other communist countries, the people of those nations, how oppressed they are mm -hmm. and how controlled by their governments mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. And then they will appreciate the freedom that they have here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, hey, we, we're discussing the book that that, that his mm -hmm. dad wrote, the Ovi, and and uh, and it's very interesting. It's some, something that I, I I would recommend very strongly that you that you pick up this copy and and look at it. I mean, it's it's it, it relates. And then, in all due respect, get something similar within that culture. If you can find a book comparable for your own culture, mm -hmm. can this be? That's a good deal. And in fact, I didn't invite them. I'll be inviting folks to come on the show. Absolutely. But, but, our, but our whole deal was that. I met Ovi and, and it was great and we were talking about veterans and reaching out to veterans as we're still doing that. Yes, and we besides are. Besides having his own independent business, I'm in the same boat aspect of it. And we're gonna we're definitely gonna continue doing the, the reaching out to vets aspect of it. Yes, we are. But this is a very, very important piece now because this this feeling of this divide thing and uh, and hopefully the word will get out to the to the president that uh, you just don't hit those on those kind of sensitive issues. You've got to do things. Really. And all due respect, when he when he said the sob aspect, of it, <laughs> everybody uses sob. Right. We've kind of gotten so liberal. We can use the four-letter words. We can do anything right. we want to do. We even made an attempt at one point in time to use the N word. Remember that was a, right. We, we, mm -hmm. But see, nobody. But the only way you're going to cut that out is that somebody got to get fined. We got we got the, <laughs> we got yeah. we, we got we we have we, got these. And yes. get, put the law down, right? Yes. Just like running the stop sign. If you get mm -hmm. caught. You pay a fine. Exactly. Then all of a sudden, guess what? You don't you don't run the stop sign anymore. <laughs> well, if you if you don't get caught, right? Right. Got me. So so, but my point is that um, it, it's it's very important that we we get back in the yes. in the right track of mind. You know, I do want to say um, when we came to the United States, my grandfather uh, said this, and then of course after that, my father repeated it many times. But he said we came to America to become Americans. Yes. We didn't come to America to become Romanian Americans. Or minorities. Or minorities. Or do, do look and, at someone and, and I think that it's really, it's, it's okay to say, mm -hmm. I, I'm a, I'm, I was born in Romania. Yeah, yeah, My heritage yeah, is Romanian. Yeah, yeah. Well, your heritage is yeah, yeah. African. I like to or say, but I got to get that defined so first. See, I got right. to clean that up with me. Yeah. <laughs> See? But I think that's where we got divided uh, in a way that's affecting this nation, oh, yeah. where all of a sudden I'm Romanian American, you're African American, yeah. somebody else Chinese American, yeah. I don't. Hispanic, uh, and Japanese and American, Asian, and so forth. Yeah, I, yeah. We're all Americans, yeah, and yeah, when yeah, we lost yeah. sight of that, yeah. we have been divided, and yeah. the enemies of freedom yeah. are winning. Yeah. But not for long. I think that, that, you know, if you and I talk enough about those yeah. issues, and many other men and women that love the United States of America, mm -hmm bring that up and speak up yeah. and are silent no more. Yeah. Those that love yeah. America mm -hmm. are silent no more. Mm -hmm. We'll get back on track. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, our definition of assimilation here has always been kind of like the skin color deal. Right. If you're white, you're majority. <laughs> yeah. if, you're, if, you're, if you're black, you're a minority. Mm -hmm. and, and you others, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's that kind of a deal. And, and I'm just throwing this out on the table. Maybe, again, we're talking about economics here now, right? Right. And we got one pie, right? Right. We got a big, 100 percent, right? Right. And we do one thing every year before this, before the vote piece. We take a census, right? Right. We take a census, mm -hmm. and we do it with, we, we do it with reference to, we should do it with reference to culture. <laughs> you gotta, now you got a hundred pieces, right? Right. You got a hundred pieces, right? Right. And you divide the pie mm -hmm. in a hundred pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like saying, because it's economics. Right. 
Because at the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. about the money. <laughs> I hate to put it that way, but that's the way it is. And some people will say, okay, fine, I'll get my culture, and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be very respectful with reference to the Romania. Mm -hmm. I mean, just imagine if they came to this country and they just scattered. They didn't even go to the community where Romanians mm -hmm. were. Right. They were just out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would take longer to, quote, be getting to the school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'd be fighting every day for about <laughs> half your life. Or right. something. You know what I'm saying? But in all due respect, because of the skin color piece, mm -hmm. you were able to be accepted after a certain period, in a short period. Yes. But then at the end of that day, you ask yourself, well, what have I gained? If now I, got, I can't talk to Bruce, <laughs> Right. Or I Absolutely. can't talk to you. Then what? What about America? What's this land of the free mm -hmm. and stuff like that? Then we then we get into the discussion. We're arguing and this, that, and the other, and we're forgetting about the economics of this world, if you will, and what's happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't you can't use the word God. You can't raise the flag. All kinds of stuff because some of these folks are thinking, well, they they, they that's, I don't relate to that flag. It's not mine. They tell me I don't, I can't relate. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, I know I've been in the court. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm you know, that's you. where I think the lack of education, uh, even for Im immigrants to come yes. to this country. Yes. You know, they should have been told what my grandfather said to us. Uh, we leave that behind. We'll mm -hmm. never forget that's where we yeah, come right, from. Right. But we're going to become Americans. We're going to integrate. We're not going to segregate. We're going to, you know, I still uh, socialize with Romanians, but I'm American. Yeah. I I. Go to an American church. I do visit Romanians, and I have Romanian friends, but I have more American friends. Mm -hmm. um, my heart, my goal is for the land, and for the nation that adopted me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and gave me yeah. um, a life that I could not have ever had yeah. in Romania. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of emotional for me to say. No, 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 I no, no. No, I, I feel you, you know, and, and I'm just saying that, that, but there are folks on this other side, in all due respect, as a black, that feels that they haven't been assimilated yet. They still haven't been accepted yet. And is that's, it possible? That's a hard, is that's it a possible? hard, hard thing. In all due respect, I, I fall in that same category. That's why we're talking about it to mm -hmm. a certain degree. Because I can talk about it a little bit more because I'm a older, I'm mm -hmm. a little older, and I still haven't achieved the feeling that I'm, that I'm truly accepted. Mm -hmm. I, I'm here in a country, and, I, and having been in the core, I've been around the world, so to speak, and I know this is kind of the best place, the best place I can live outside of these other folks. Right. Yeah, everybody got their mm -hmm. own deal. Well, I can go back to Africa or what's in the other, but, but I'm in America. That's where I, that's where I was born, if you right. were raised. And you're American. And so now I'm saying, but then I'm, but I'm being thrown this other thing in the front of me, and I said, well, I did get some of the book work about the Civil War, the Civil War and this, that, and this but it's still being fought. <laughs> We still yeah. got this divide. In fact, yeah. it's happening now, if mm -hmm. you will. Yes. And you know about the the R's and the D's, and now we don't know what that's all about. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? One's supposed to be the the rich, and the D is supposed to be the uh, the poor, and then you then you put the socialism piece in that piece, oh. and it's it's so it's so heavy. Right. You can't even make a buck anymore to make, <laughs> to a certain degree. I mean, to a certain right, degree. Right. If mm -hmm. you if you start showing folks your your, your, your the things that you may achieve as a result of whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to watch what you share. Yeah, but, but I look at it that I, I think that we lost sight that we are Americans. And when, see, nobody told me that I'm I'm Romanian or right. American. Right. Or so, but we came here. We understood that we left that behind and that we going to become yeah. Americans. Right. And, you know, I got in fights in school, in high school, because I didn't understand what they were saying, and then and they were laughing, and I thought they were laughing at me, so I got in fights. Just because Quite of your, your accent? Uh, yeah, because, ways. but I don't know if they, to this day, I don't know if they were talking about me, if they even laughed at me or anything, but because they were what close your to accent? me. What is your accent? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. But, 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 and so I got in trouble, I went to the principal's office, uh, um, and so forth, but, um, but, I grew out of that. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to become American. My parents wanted to become American. My grandparents wanted to become American. And and we weren't born here. I wasn't yeah, born here. Yeah. But, you know, we worked hard and we didn't allow anybody to tell right. us we're not Americans. Yeah. And I think that that's missing in, in right. different nationalities. Yeah. I think that should be, the only, you know, before you become an American citizen, I think that you should go through classes that would 
But we were doing that in the schools. Right. See, we were doing but that. But that was taken out of school. taken out. It's taken out. And that should not be. No, no. That should not be. How are your kids doing? How are your kids doing? I'm proud to tell you. They don't have to do that problem? No. I'm proud to tell you that my son is a Marine. So thank you for your service. You served. Okay. And I have a daughter that's airman. She's in the Air Force. Just got back from two years. No problems. No problems. Not at all. They don't feel. No accent. No accent, but born in him. <laughs> no accent, no, <laughs> accent, no fight. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You see? But in all due respect, had you been like me, mm -hmm. it's still a problem. I mean, yes. Even though they're second and third generation, you know what I'm saying? You got right. me? Right. And I you understand. Participate. So we, but, but, but the point is, is that we just need to get back to the basics again. Yes. Maybe we've just kind of uh, we we we've over gotten uh, gotten too too lackadaisy, if you will, mm -hmm. about the definition of freedom. Because everybody yes. outside of our sphere mm -hmm. is fighting anti this because they're living in right. a non freedom situation. Right? right. Yes. Yeah. That kind of a deal. Yes. And and you know, I think that in part it's self imposed that would you know, people yeah. you know. And then of course what happened to the black people, the slavery and so forth. But you know, um, we should keep that in the history books. Absolutely, we should talk about it. But I don't think it should be an issue of divide today. I think it should be an issue of uniting. Uh, when uh, black folks and white folks understand that right now there is no slaves, that n no white person desires to have slaves, and it's illegal to have slaves, and no black person will be a slave again, then that should unite us and bring us together and, uh, and everybody. <laughs> Hold on to right. America. Well, maybe what we'll freedom. do. Maybe we'll do. We'll take the Webster Dictionary mm -hmm. and take black folks and white folks out of it. Uh, I'm all just for it. American. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think I think we did it that way. Yeah, we just let's started. Try it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's get the draft it. in again. See, uh -huh. put everybody in the military. Get that melting deal. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I, I came up a different way. Um, you know, I'm just saying. Right, you know right, I mean? right. uh, but the bottom line is that I, I think this, we, we need to, I mean, look at, we, we're, we're laughing about this piece. Mm -hmm. But again, like I said, it's serious. A lot of yes. folks are very serious about it on yes. both sides of the aisle. Yes, I okay? Understand. And I would hope that they will have this discussion uh -huh. among themselves and kind of get a sense and share the show that we've just shared, right? That we're doing Absolutely. this show right here. And uh, it's, all, it's all for good. Thank it's you. It's all for the yes, USA, totally and we're all involved, yes. and we're we're all part of this piece, and no one can tell me I'm not an American. There you go. See, I love that. Vice versa. And, you, you know, thank you for having me oh. on the show, and if anybody's interested in the book, go to yes. www.willingtodiebook.com. Right, 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 um, right, 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 right. In fact, it, it, once you read it, you'll find, you know, once you read it, you'll find yourself in this book. Trust me. You, you'll yes. find yourself in this book. Uh, it, you know, it, it just so happened that your dad was Romania, and I want to thank him, if you will. I think John. We're probably yes. the same age graph anyway. Yes, you are actually. Yeah. You're only and 14 was, days in, apart. In October, yeah. He was, he, uh, you're October 16, and yeah. my father's October 29. There you go. See, 13 days apart. See, so we know one another already. So that's why I really got into it. He's, 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 he's a Libra just like I am. That's yep. deal. And one day I'd like to meet him. You will. I'm going yeah, to try to convince I know he's, him. A, he's up in California. Yeah, yes, he's in Southern California, Southern California. Uh, Costa Mesa. When he comes here next time around, we'll have him on the show. Absolutely. Would love we want to we wanna meet the guy All right. that made you. <laughs> yes. My hero. My All father. Right. All right. We want to thank you over here and your family for giving you the opportunity and allowing you, if you will, to mm -hmm. come and be on the show. We really appreciate this. My pleasure. This means a lot, if you will, to all of us here in this country. Okay? Thank you. It's always God a bless pleasure, you. My God bless okay, the USA. Good. Yes. God bless America. Appreciate that. Okay, folks. You got it. I think we had a heck of a show, and, and hopefully you'll have the same discussion that we have. And maybe you want to use this as a primer. Sounds good. Okay? Take care. I'll see you next week. Have a good one.